Hey there, today I'm showing you watercolor painting ideas to relax and unwind. So the first one is pretty simple and you might already have seen this page if you watched my... So the first one is pretty simple and you might already have seen this one if you watched my last watercolor sketchbook tour. And this is just to doodle around with watercolors and I used a very thick brush there. It's a very versatile brush. It's the Da Vinci Casaneo brush and I'm gonna link it in the description box just in case you want to check it out. It's pretty expensive but it's my favorite brush. But you can of course use any kind of brush or just switch around brushes and use a thinner one and then a thicker one just to get some variation there. And I use different colors that go together nicely, mostly warm tones and a little bit of purple. And I just filled this whole page with random doodles. And this is one of my favorite things to do actually because it's so relaxing and you don't really have to think about anything. You don't have to come up with an idea and you can just bring to paper whatever you're feeling right now you can listen to music and just do something that fits the kind of music that you're listening to or whatever you want to do you could do that as a warm-up exercise before painting something else that might be a little bit more complicated or just on its own and you can use all kinds of colors and all kinds of patterns i just love to do those swirly things and different kinds of dots and circles and lines and so this is the first idea finished now then the second one is very easy as well this is just water droplets <laughs> that's just it that's the whole idea i used all kinds of blue tones some were more turquoise and some are more cool blue tones and in my opinion the purplish blue tones are the cool ones and the greenish tones are the warm ones but yeah <laughs> people disagree on that a lot so don't fight me on that and yeah i just did more and more of those drops and this was really really easy and relaxing as well and you can do that whilst listening to audiobooks or watching netflix or videos or whatever you're doing honestly i love listening to podcasts and stuff and those kind of easy paintings are perfect for when you just want to do something else as well and just give your hands to do something, I don't know. Or you can kind of do this as a meditative, meditative, is that a word, thing where you just calm down and just focus on painting without any kind of specific details or goals and i love the kind of pattern that this created then the next one is maybe just a little bit more complicated kind of you can see that i painted those next to the baby yoda painting that i did a tutorial on on my channel just recently and here i'm just doing very easy shapes and you can probably already tell that this is going to be different kinds of animals because you can kind of see it with the cat here and these are just very cartoonish and easy paintings so nothing too complicated i didn't even look at reference pictures or anything i just came up with different shapes that could represent animals and then i did some fun doodles in the background just to fill the page better and then i used a pen and added lines just to 
obviously give the details to the animals so you can see what kind of animals those are and yeah it's just so that they look cuter i wanted to do that with a pen because it felt easier that way and yeah it's just a very doodly <laughs> is that even a word no it isn't kind of page and i framed it with some turquoise and just to make everything fit together a bit better with the baby yoda on the right side and it has a totally different style but i think it looks cute so there's that page finished and on to the next one i mean i was supposed to use clean water for that <laughs> but my water was already really dirty so maybe use clean water for that and then i just um i used different kinds of colors and i just splattered them on there used a little bit of salt and i just really played around with this page then i added in more and more colors and depending on the kind of watercolors that you have those might spread more or less but if you use a lot of water they're probably gonna spread and then when it was dry and this took forever to dry by the way so if you have a lot of time do this <laughs> then i painted this tree on in the foreground i don't know and this salty sparkly <laughs> <laughs> splatter bit was the background and then on the left side I did more of those kind of doodles similar to the ones that I did at first but in a very different style I did more like geometric shapes like those I can't even talk anymore right now every time I do a voiceover lately I'm so kind of rambling and then I forget the words it's really bad but you can see what I'm doing and I used the colors in rainbow order so I started with yellow and moved on to orange and red and purple obviously you know how a rainbow works right <laughs> and then I just did more of those over and over again and just very simple shapes and I think if you repeat that over and over again and you really focus on making those shapes look cute, I don't know, then everything looks good in the end. It looks way more complicated than it is, I think. And I think that this makes a really cute page and you could also do that if you have like a portrait or something and you want to add a really cool background then you could do something like that just add doodles I've been doing that in my other sketchbook where I'm not painting but drawing it's like a real a real sketchbook where I sketch <laughs> not a watercolor sketchbook like this one and I've been doing this and drawing portraits and then adding a background like this and I think it looks really cute and yeah I'm just repeating everything over and over again and then everything comes together in this beautiful rainbow I know I've done a lot of rainbow stuff in this sketchbook already because I used it for pride ideas and this sketchbook is probably going to be my most colorful one so far i'm already looking forward to flipping through it once it's finished even though i just started it i really hope that you liked this video and if you did so please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time goodbye